What is the name of the film and what is it about? All right. Uh, the title of our film is Schaufenster, which in English means display. So it's basically the display of Berlin, what you get to see and what you get to hear in Berlin. So that's that's our film about. Zarathustra returns to the marketplace where he had encountered the tightrope walker. This time he speaks to Fassbinder and reflects on the marketplace the place where ideas and images are exchanged. He begins to categorize the people of the market and sees that in a place like this it is showmanship that counts and not virtue. Great men are those who can attract the crowd and passionately express their opinions and ideas. The best showmen are the politicians and intellectuals. They know best how to attract a crowd and to dominate the exchange of ideas and images, but their gestures don't help the pain of the sufferers. Those that blindly serve these actors of the spectacle of the world, he calls the flies of the market and warns the movie maker against their flattering treasury. He declares that being immersed in the marketplace is no way of ascension and yet it is hard to escape from it. The exchange of ideas can only come to fruitful images when a person retreats into solitude to let ideas come to the light of reflection. Solitude is, to Zarathustra, more necessary and novel than the market and yet it has become a market itself. That is what one can read in the book opened at the Schaufenster.
this is the point. How did you get the idea? Uh, well, I think we had a very international group. I think all seven of us were from seven different countries. So I think we had really diverse ideas about Berlin. And it was sort of like summation of everyone's idea what they think Berlin is to them. And I think that was just uh, uh, a total summation of everyone's idea that uh, this film just turned out to be. I wouldn't call it a film for us. I think it was more as a video art that we would see it because there were a lot of different ideas and we sort of liked every idea and we wanted to merge it merge it in a cohesive concept so yeah that's uh, that was the idea and are you satisfied with the result I think I am I think uh, for the last two weeks as I said because we had so many different ideas and we kind of liked all of them and we were like you know uh, that you know which idea should be the one and then we thought that why not put all of them together and get get something and the end result we were really surprised that this turned out to be really exciting and I think uh, yeah we we're really happy with the end result I guess yeah do you have a favorite scene in the movie Oh, uh, well, <laughs> it'll be cliche, but I'd say the favorite scene in my film would be the last scene of the film. I think uh, if you if you see the film, I think it sort of uh, builds up to a certain level and then there is a certain kind of a drop which brings you to the last scene. So for me, that is very poetic and very interesting. So I think, yeah, that should... The last scene is probably my favorite scene of the film, yeah. And uh, how was it to work in this random group? It was... Interesting, I would say. Interesting. Let's put it that way. And I think, but but I I must say, I think I had a wonderful group. I mean, as I said, we were all from seven different countries. Let me list them out to you. One girl was from USA. There was a guy from Brazil. There was a guy from Mexico. There was a girl from France. There was a girl from Holland. And there was me 
from India. So as you can see, it's pretty much all over the world and uh, we all live in Berlin, we all love Berlin. So I think it's very interesting and to sort of see, even though we had different ideas about what Berlin is, I mean, somewhere down the line, it all came together. So I think it was really interesting and everyone was really dedicated uh, for the project and they really wanted to do something for this film. So it was it was really interesting. Yeah. And do you would work in this constellation again? Yes, I, I think so. I think we, we would. I mean, uh, definitely if we, if we as a group get another chance, uh, we would definitely want to do something, but maybe something more extreme, I think. I think we have done something, but now I think we want to challenge ourselves and do something even bigger, I guess. Yeah. And you know, as we were shooting in different parts of, of Berlin, you know, and a lot of people actually came up to us because we were trying to do as like a guerrilla filmmaking, you know, we didn't have like some big equipments, we didn't, because it was more sort of a documentary video art, so we wanted to keep it really hush hush a lot of people they came up to us and they're like oh what are you making and uh, we just briefly told them the idea that this is and they were like oh can I be a part of your film can I somehow I really like your idea so that for me was really interesting because I think I have to say when we first came out on the came out with the idea I thought it might just be too abstract as a lot of people might not get it but then I was like I was stupid enough to think that people would not get it but people are actually getting the idea so for me that was actually very interesting uh, that you know everyone really liked the concept and they said oh yeah this could be interesting Interesting. Yep. And Landscape Film Festival for you again next year? Hopefully if I'm in Berlin, I, I, I definitely, if uh, Landscape uh, Film Festival, if it happens, if not in Berlin, I hear they have big plans to go to other cities, so I think I'd love to follow them wherever they happen. But uh, if Berlin, yes, definitely, why not? <laughs> Um, it's called Here and Then Gone. Uh, it's um, a story uh, um, combined of um, heard stories from friends around Berlin. It's kind of an abstract story, um, trying to pick up on sort of repeated themes that we've heard from stories from other people. For you, I have searched the depths of this space In the streets, thick with people, I have walked Yet for their presence, I am still alone Roaming this vast place, I am lost in it The transience of masses swirling in and out Impermanence But my, my hopes, hopes hang on the possibility of permanence. Something that lasts longer than a night or weeks. But we are not here for that. We are here for fun and chance encounters that never endure. What know we of commitment? We are free. We choose inconsistency. It's called independence. We have forgotten dedication through trials and a love that sees beyond faults. Does it exist anymore? Where can I find it? And what if I want to settle down? For this you must take yourself to the airwaves, to the sky, to your device. I sit across from you in a cafe, but we cannot speak. In order to approach you, I must use electronics and connect through signals and screens. Otherwise, in dark rooms, our bodies can meet. Easily, with no depth. But is this it? Finally, I find you, or what I think is you, but is it really you? Then I go close to you, and I know it's not. Vanished, alone, no one to wake or dream with, to walk the winding paths of forest or ideas with, here and then gone, here and then gone, here and then gone, here and then gone.
Um, yeah, it's through the stories of our friends. Um, it was written by the writer in our team. Uh, she's a songwriter and she writes short stories. Um, and so, yeah, she sort of, we all sort of came together and we um, sort of combined different stories from friends that we'd heard with sort of repeating themes between all of them. And um, yeah, then she wrote a, a kind of like a, a poetic sort of spoken word uh, voiceover for the film, yeah. Are you satisfied with the result? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied, yeah. I think um, by the end it was like a really equal contribution from everyone, which I thought was really nice. It was the length that we wanted it to be. Um, yeah, and it kind of it happened naturally between everyone rather than anyone coming with any sort of like major preconceptions of what they wanted it to be. So, yeah, it was an interesting collaboration, yeah. Um, a story from Unset. Um, I don't know, the cameraman nearly fell in the river while he was filming. Uh, that was quite scary <laughs> with all of the camera equipment. Oh, no. um, we also filmed on top of a shopping center. We filmed some of the planes going into Teagle Airport. Uh, and it was really, really hot. <laughs> we were sweating a lot while we filmed that, so yeah. Would you work again in this group constellation? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think um, we'll definitely all stay in touch and keep making projects together for sure, yeah. Great. And next year again, Landscape Film Festival? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would do it again. Amanda, can you quickly and shortly tell me the name of your movie and what's it about? Like two or three sentences. Okay, the movie is Die Ankunft, The Arrival, and it's about a German a guy feeling an expat in Berlin. He just arrived in Berlin and he feels an expat in Berlin. Ja, hallo. Ich bin gerade in Berlin angekommen. Wo treffen wir uns nochmal? Rivala Straße 99. Ja, ich warte nur noch auf den Zug. Bis gleich.
angekommen. Ich muss jemanden in der Rivala Straße 99 treffen. Können Sie mir helfen? Äh, uh, Revelis Straße ist da. Da drüben, ja? Ja, alles, alles ist. Der ganze Bereich? Ja. Danke. Kennst du das oder nicht? Ja, ja, was, was, ja. Hast du Feuer, Pilz? Ja. Ja. Hast du Feuer? Hast du Feuer? Hast du Feuer? Bitte, bitte, bitte. Heute Nacht schlafen wir nicht. Ja, klar, klar, okay. klar. Alles klar, Mann. Okay. Alles okay. fucking klar. Ja, oder was? Ja. Junge, ja. okay. Junge, Junge, super, Junge. Super, super. super. <lacht> Wo ist das heute Abend? Was machen Sie? Hey Mann, hey. Hey Mann. Was wollen Sie hier? Hey. Du kommst mit uns, Mann. Ja, du hey. kommst mit uns, ja. Ich hatte die beste Nacht meines Lebens. <lacht> Komm, lass uns nach Hause gehen. Ja, ja.
Since the movie is finished, how satisfied are you with the outcome of the movie? I'm very glad of the whole project. I'm glad to have met the people that we work with. And of course, if um, the time is a little bit short, but it was good and I'm happy with it. So how was it working and producing a movie only within two weeks? Actually, I've been in more difficult challenge, like 24-hour movies. Actually, it was quite good, the two weeks, but still, then you give your chance, yourself the chance to do a more elaborate plot. And then, anyways, is the time is running because uh, you have time to do something a little bit more developed than these extreme short contests. But, yeah, it was, uh, we had time to manage everything. The shooting we did, like, we had come out with the idea very quick. So for the first weekend, we could do the recordings, and by the whole second week, we could focus on post-production, sound editing, all the rest. So it was okay. But we were working to 9 o'clock in the morning, all the deadline day. So we did like a massive, intense weekend, the last weekend. So. But. And um, since you've been randomly put together, how was it to work within a group where you actually don't know the people? Uh, I was very lucky to be team up with my partner. We have like an um, independent production company and we were team up together. So we actually know each other for a long time and they help out a little bit, but the whole movie and we are very in into working the two of us. So this gave us really the chance to emerge and people that different backgrounds and from different countries. We were each one from a different country and focus on different things so it was very intense but actually we were happy that we didn't have fights not ego drama so it was very positive yeah so would you uh, work in that kind of constellation of people again yeah for sure why not i think it's a very it's a very nice input to have like such a restrict time and surrounded by these people that anyways you are not the boss they are not under you so you you know like it's always a kind of like mutual respect that sometimes in the industry in a normal situation you don't find you know since the movie is finished what are your wishes um, for your movie and what are the plans for your movie well now we have today a very, very nice screening open screening then we're gonna go broadcast on Alex TV and then we're gonna sit down with the team and Let's see if we send over to other festivals and understand what, what if you can push further the, um, this short movie. Or maybe start another project straight away. You know, who, who knows? Could be cool too.